Hey guys, it's Allie. Today I'm going to be giving you a haul slash review slash my day-to-day -day barnware, um, where I got them at, how much, and kind of the pros and cons of it. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is this hat I got from Razzle Dazzle on eBay. She's amazing. She has a Facebook page and her own website and her products are very high quality but at a very good price. So anything for your cowgirl necessities. This hat is um, an Aztec cross with a lot of bling around it and um, has like a little bit of a design right here and I'll put that on to show you. I wore hats like these, kind of more like the military fit, um, I guess I would call it, is because I don't like um, baseball hats. Um, some of them I can pull off, but I don't like trucker hats. Um, I have more of a square face, so these fit me like a lot better, and they look really well on me, so I think, so keep your comments to yourself. Um, but yeah, I got this for $17, which was free shipping, so I thought that was pretty good. Sorry for the hat hair. Um, the next thing I'm going to be showing you, if I can find it, oh, my belt! <laughs> this is a 110% real BHW. I got this for $34 on eBay. I will put the belt vendor below. Um, th I've never owned a fully encrusted rhinestone belt before. Um, I had one similar to this. But right here at the belt loops, um, or holes or whatever, it was the black leather, and it's the black leather up here near the buckle. And it was alright, I really didn't like it. Um, I got compliments on it, but I was just like, eh. And I paid $55 for that one, which was ridiculous, because I did buy it at fair one show season, so that, don't do that. Um, so yeah, I mean, I wear this every single day, it's holed up really, really well. Um, I have two rhinestones missing. I mean, that's pretty good for owning it for almost four months. So, overall, I highly suggest this video. Um, overall, I highly suggest this belt. It's a size medium. Um, definitely a good fit. I should have got a large, but because um, I'm on the last hole of it. But, I mean, honestly, all depends on the pants that I wear with it, too. So, yeah, I'll definitely put the link of the vendor that I got it from on eBay below. Now these jeans, these jeans right here are, if you are a type of person who does not feel like spending $80 to $100 on jeans, I highly suggest them. Um, they're comfortable, they hold up to many, many washes. I turn them inside out when I wash them to make sure no rhinestones fall off. I got um, three pairs for $65. I got a cowgirl tough pair and then these two um, LA Idol jeans. I got this on a Facebook group called Barrel Tack and Trade. They're amazing. Um, you can find horses, you can trade tack, buy good stuff for at really good prices. So um, I've never owned these jeans before. I didn't even know that they existed, but I'm so glad that I know that they exist because these are freaking amazing. They're like Miss Me jeans. Um, the only con I have about them is, as you can see like right here, like the rhinestone's about to fall off. And I have them all over my house and all over the barn. But um, overall, these are amazing. They're really comfortable. You can fit leggings underneath them. They even have like a bling on the button right here. So I mean, they definitely, definitely, definitely hold up really, really well. One thing I love about them too is they don't fray at the bottom. Miss Me Jeans, when I ride in them all these years, they fray. And I didn't like that, and I had to keep replacing them, and they would get holes in them all the time. So, and another thing is too, I used to ride in skinny jeans all the time. I kind of moved away from that. Um, once I got back into horses, I really like boot cut. Um, I think it just looks more adult-like, so, personal preference, so. Um, these are the second pair I got, um, kind of similar in the front, more um, bigger jewels on the pockets and you know LA Idol right there but these are the crosses these are my favorite ones because I think these fit a lot better than the other ones and my um sorry my cat is messing with stuff I need to quit it come say hi this is Oscar he's my baby he's like oh mom what are you doing he's got a little booger but anyways I was saying these are more like bigger jewels, um, bigger on the butt. These will actually held up a lot more than the other ones. So definitely, definitely worth the buy. 
So, yeah, I'll be putting all those links of where I got everything in the description. But another thing I wanted to address is um, I will be making another video, probably within the next couple of days, about my tack setup, where I got all of my tack, kind of bit of a little bit of review of the new pad I just got, um, kind of the stuff that I run her in, stuff that I use day to day on her to kind of give you more insight, especially if you're new to the horse community. Or if you want to try something new in your horse, I am got it. I probably got it, and I'll help review it for you. Um, another thing is, me and Brittany are going to do a collab type of review on the German Martingale. And it's kind of a new thing to the barrel racing scene and to the Western world, I guess you could say. Um, a lot of people are iffy about it. A lot of people are for it. A lot of people don't know about it, or a lot of people want to buy it, but aren't sure it's going to work for their horse. So this is where me and Brittany come in. Her and I want to really review the Martingale and let it show how it's changed our horses and their pros and cons of it to give you a little bit more confidence on to using it for your horse. And we kind of want to just give more of a product review because right now there aren't many there aren't many Martingale or German Martingale reviews. So I think this should really help some people who are kind of lost on the subject or on the item or really where to go from it um, and we'll show what type of bits you can run it in and everything. Um, I plan to get a sweet six bit um, from Fallon Taylor's <clears throat> website and I'm going to see if the Martingale can run it in or not. Um, right now I just ride her in an O-ring and Brittany rides hers in an O-ring and it so far has been working and it's turned her horse around completely so I'll see what it does to Malibu. So thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and share this video to all of your horse friends. Um, we're kind of a growing channel, but we're going to get there and this is absolutely all for fun and just to kind of give you a little bit of insight on our lives and what we do for fun with horses. So you guys just keep horsing around and we'll see you guys later.